Automotive. You may well have heard them, of them before. They've created something called the Speedback GT. It's very much rekindles the spirit of the 1960s and looks a little bit like an Aston Martin DB5, but this is the next car in their model range. Now it uses the basis of an old Mini. It's a brand new shell and it really is, well, how can I put it? Coach building at its finest. Yes, I may well have quoted that from the press pack, but it is uh, a coach built Mini, much like the types of Minis you found in the 1960s by Cross and Pickett, but this is an awful lot better. Okay, so what makes it better? Well, first of all, it's de seamed. See along the surfaces here, it is totally de seamed and it's done properly. It's not just covered over. expect and a white square on the side for the number walk around the back some new tail lights these are going to change David Brown says to me they're going to look a little bit more like the Speedback GT but point of difference and you actually have an actual tailgate with the familiar mini click there we are there's the interior so you've got this really nice feeling leather steering wheel body colored dashboard there's an infotainment system in here with sat nav it's a pioneer system it's the same type you actually find in the Suzuki Ignis it works well enough it's a little bit fiddly with these buttons along here but you know it's a classic mini after all with an infotainment system and that is pretty good that's some nice Machine turned switches here. It's air vents. Got the cup holder, can you believe? Actual cup holder, that's the start stop button. These are electric window switches. Uh, this gear lever is from an original Mini and it feels really good. Four speeds. So under the bonnet, that's the view out, typical Mini view out. Under the bonnet is a 1.4 litre engine and it's tuned to around 98 brake horsepower but you still get the full speed gearbox and my word does it make a racket at 60 miles an hour but it is a mini after all. Glove box and two USB charging ports in there which is quite nifty and yes there's the plaque showing that this is a mini Monte Carlo. One thing I do need to stress is this is a pre-production car so a few things will change in here. Each car will have a numbered plaque. This hasn't got a numbered plaque because it is a pre-production car. The pedals will change for instance and various bits and pieces will change uh, for the production cars. These Smith's dials look really lovely. They're nice and retro but they're also quite modern because there's an actual LCD display in there if you can see. And these seats are really very comfortable. They're the same hides that David Brown put in their Speedback GT made from Dorset cows. Apparently the Dorset cows are chosen because there's very few barbed wires in Dorset in the fields and so the hides don't get nicked. Really very smart. There's the back seats. And the fit and finishing here is absolutely brilliant it really is really nicely trimmed and the best way to describe this mini is that it feels 
like an extremely well sorted classic mini it's probably the best a classic mini could ever get it feels really well trimmed really well made and so it should be because the price of this car get ready for this mini Monte Carlo edition is £100,000. Yes, you heard that right, £100,000. Let us know what you